How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis and we've got the Maniacal Monkey Hunting update from the Old School RuneScape team. Alongside this, they've also got some uses for the Boss Slayer heads and the new Great Karen Fruit Stall update. So let's start off with the Maniacal Monkey Hunting. Turn into a monkey, hop on the back of a gorilla and start hunting. Maniacal Monkey Hunting is here. Through a crevice in Crook's Cavern, there's a new area that contains huntable Maniacal Monkeys. To navigate through this crevice, you'll have to have completed Monkey Madness 2. You'll need to wield the most agile Monkey Grigri and have level 60 Hunter. Inside the hunting area, there's a number of large rocks scattered about. Hop onto a demonic gorilla's back to lift up one and place a banana into the trap. Once successfully placed down, a hungry monkey will wander by and the trap will land on the monkey's tail. When this happens, you'll get a monkey tail or a damaged monkey tail, much like you do when you currently hunt big cat fur. Damaged monkey tails can be used with a knife to create standard sinew, which we've had in the game for a while, and monkey tails that aren't damaged can be used to create heavy or light ballista, providing an alternative method for getting monkey tails. Additionally, monkey hunting will be reasonably high experience, offering 1000 experience per monkey caught. It'll be a new and fun way to train our hunter. Next this week, we've got the Boss Head Slayer Helmets. This is something for avid PVMers. You can unlock the ability to combine your Boss Heads with your Slayer Helmets. It will cost 1000 Slayer Points to unlock the ability to create these helmets, and of course creating one will require the Boss Head you wish your helm to match. If you ever get tired of the look of the Slayer Helm, you can disassemble the helmet to get both the Slayer Helmet and the Boss Head back. Moving on to the Fruit Stools and Botanical Pie. There are now fruit stalls in the Hosidious area of Great Grand. Thieving from these fruit stalls requires level 25 thieving and will provide you with a number of the following fruits. Apple, strawberry, banana, red berries, jango berries, strange fruit, lime, lemon, pineapple, papaya and gola nova top. The gola nova top will be used to create the botanical pie. Eating one half of the pie will heal you 6 points and boost your herbal level up by 4. Next, we've got the Current Player Owned House Portal. A new Player Owned House Portal is now available in Great Current. The portal itself is located in the Tower City area, requiring level 25 construction and 8,750 coins to move there. As with all other House Portal locations, the Great Current House Portal can be accessed via the Redirection House tabs and the Standard House Teleport tablets. Finally, in other news, the Head Guards of Current were meant to have a 50% chance of their Runite drop being a Kite Shield rather than a scimitar. However, it was previously only dropping the scimitar. This is now fixed. They've corrected the colour of a tile overlay within Karen's Grand Library. They've corrected the typo in the examined text of the Abyssal Size Vents. They've renamed Oldak Sphere to Dorgesh Khan Sphere, although why they've done that is somewhat questionable. Green Dragons are now only assigned to those with 65 plus combat, if you have the combat level's preferences turned on that is. They've corrected the Lumbridge Diary Reward dialogue that describes unlocking an additional Slayer block. Zunok now remains in Apetol Tunnel until he is required at the Gnome Stronghold during Monkey Madness 2. When a Carol's crossbow degrades to its broken state, it will now function as a regular bow without any combat stats, instead of defaulting to controlled melee experience. Which I believe was caused by some Pures gaining defense experience whilst using the Carol's crossbow. The Tears of Guthix status bar now displays the remaining time more accurately. Previously, it had been slightly misleading for players whose quest points were a multiple of 10. Players now have a chance of telling Juno the happenings of Monkey Madness 2, and they've adjusted the code for removing furniture from a player owned house in an attempt to resolve a sporadic crash issue. This week's update seems great, although when I first heard about it, I was very confused as to why we were getting the maniacal monkey hunting. There was absolutely no information previously about it, and I actually rose this issue on the 2007 Escapes Reddit post about this update. Mod Maz replied, telling me that it was a reward from Monkey Madness 2 that they didn't have time to finish before the quest was released. Which is fair enough, although I wish they had at least mentioned it in the Monkey Madness 2 developed blocks. I was also under the belief that the Slayer Helmet update would have us buying our helmets with the boss head and a few hundred points, and not giving us the ability to create them ourselves. It's not a huge issue, it just really confused me when I first read it. If you want to discuss any of these updates, please do so on the forums or in my comments below. If you want to watch my video on the latest Old School RuneScape developer block, please click here for the last man standing. 
And if you want to watch my video on the previous old school runescape update, please click here for sand crabs and soul bearers. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and if you want to keep updated with the old school runescape updates, dev blogs and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching. Goodbye.